we're on the east coast of the USA ahead of this year's Boston Marathon to see how Boston Athletics Association is inspiring a city to get running. Boston and the running community have gone hand in hand for, for many years. When I was a kid, Boston was the hotbed of long distance running in, in the U.S. There was a respect from the beginning of runners and running here in the city. The mission of the BIA is, is to really promote running and health and fitness in the community. With our flagship event, the Boston Marathon, we see ourselves as uh, a way to bring people together and have a positive impact on, on the community. We have a three-tiered system in our running club where we have the elite side of it, of course, uh, but what we call our regional racing team and then our general club membership. Running is uh, it's an obsession and it's a good healthy obsession uh, and that's why you know we want to foster that as much as we can, get people inspired, get them out and moving. Integral to the Boston Athletic Association's mission is its brand new run base center positioned near the finish line on the course of the Boston Marathon. Run Base was opened this past year in April, appropriately right before the, the Boston Marathon, our big, uh, our big weekend. And it's more than just a place to come to go for a run. It's a place to get inspired. Uh, everything from the iconic memorabilia that we have here, an interactive uh, graphic representation of the, of the race course, uh, houses open 52 weeks a year, come in and get inspired and get out and get moving. At the heart of the Boston Athletic Association's service are its clinics, hosted by expert coaches with the intention of preparing runners for race day. With every event that the BA puts on, whether it's the 5K or the marathon, you know, we feel it's important to put on training clinics. And we break the training clinics down into a few phases. One would be for the beginner, then we'll deal with you know, the, the faster side of that crowd. The athletes that are coming in with personal goals. So we try to frame clinics that give them definitive information on maybe how to train different, how to eat better, sleep better, train better. And then we always have our kind of be inspired by the elite. So at the end of every of these series of clinics, we'll, we'll bring in the elite athletes that are gonna race so that these athletes get a feel for what are those athletes like? Get them the ability to ask questions. It's a great platform because there's not very many sports out there where you know, someone who's your daily jogger can talk with the Olympian. You know, you, we don't see that in baseball or football or soccer, so it's, it's really nice connecting those two sides of the sport. As well as catering for amateur runners, the BAA is eager to reestablish itself as a major force in elite athletics. For us, we're looking to get back to our roots of having a top caliber national, international level club. I'm considered the high performance coach for our, the BAA elite team. So that basically consists of, you know, from the bottom, recruiting new athletes to coaching the athletes on a daily basis, organizing all the training camps, organizing their racing programs, organizing our sports science where we do all the testing for them, blood work, uh, lab testing on the treadmill, biomechanical work, so it's pretty much a top to bottom. Whatever we would need for an elite athlete, that's what I'm in charge of. A lot of these athletes are you know, NCAA champions and run very fast times. They're at a national level to begin with. Then it's finding the intangibles, talking to an athlete's college coach, knowing a bit about their background, and to see if we're the right fit for them and vice versa. As a team, we meet six days a week for organized training whether it's an interval session out on the fields or the track, or a long run out on the trails, or the gym sessions that we do uh, at, at Harvard University. Of course, we'd love to have athletes on Olympic teams, on national teams, you know, representing not only the BAA, but the USA as well. I mean, for, for us as an organization, that, that would be huge. And it would, it would symbol, you know, a return to what the BAA was at the outset.